Ladies and gentlemen, in association with Murray River Council, it's a very warm welcome to this finals day of the 2023 Australian Darts Open. We're here at Moama Bowling Club. It's a World Darts Federation Platinum event. And it's all brought to you by Darts Australia. We begin proceedings with our men's quarterfinals played over the best of 11 legs. And the first man we bring to the stage was a recent New Zealand Masters quarterfinalist, ranked number three in New Zealand. Welcome, JT Johnny Tata. <laughs> We now introduce the Australian Darts Open finalist, the reigning New Zealand Open champion. Ranked number two in the world, he's New Zealand's number one, Hopai Puha! <laughs> Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning, good evening, wherever you are in the world, and welcome back to the Moama Bowling Club. It's finals day here at the 2023 Australian Darts Open. Just turned noon here in Moama. Three o'clock in the morning back in the UK. Wakey, wakey, rise and shine. There's darts on. I'm Anthony Dundas. I'll be guiding you through first couple of matches, the men's quarter finals here. And Moama joined in the commentary box by the president of Darts Australia, Mr. Kelvin James. Good afternoon, viewers, and good afternoon, Anthony. Good afternoon. What a wonderful lineup we have for today's play. The final day of the 2023 Australian Darts Open Tournament. WDF Platinum event. And we've got two New Zealanders up in our first match, which is sure to First round is metal. Johnny the Throw first. Great Kimmel. friends, practice partners. And both have shown some lovely form to qualify for the quarterfinal stage. We certainly have Johnny Tata, fantastic in the group stages, it has to be said. Came through his group, defeating Michael Kassar and Harley Kemp. Hopai Puha done the same, defeating Darren Carson and David Platt. 16. Hopai, of course, last year's beaten finalist. Would love to go one better this year. Yes, he's uh, been in great form. Number two in the WDF main table. 59. A slight jump in the format for the knockout stages. We start at the best of six legs for the quarterfinals. First to six legs, that will go up to first to eight in the semis and our best of 19 first to 10 final 100. a little bit later on. This is the first of four quarter finals, the New Zealand Derby, if you like, followed by the world champion Neil Duff taking on Danny Porter as Whoa. Johnny Tata fills it up for the first time in the match. First of many we will see today, I am sure. 
Andy Battens will be on later on. The number one seed takes on Ronald Nakata. As here comes Hopes. Oh, oh, back to no. back. Perfect response. Oh, our fourth quarter final we'll see an Australian derby. Peter Machen and Raymond Smith will lock horns facing each other at the quarter final stage for the One second year running. Peter very lucky to get through. Well, very fortunate, I should say, to get through his match last night against young Stewie Coburn. Yep, survived 12 match starts in that one to progress through. And I think he knows he's used up his nine lives now, so yes, I think he's used next year's Johnny portion as well. And, and Johnny Tata then to start with a hold of throw, double 16. Yeah, that's First dart, clinical. 13 dart leg to get us going. If that's the way it's going to be, we're in for a great day of darts. I will take more of that every day of the week. Absolutely. The Honourable Susan Lay. Susan Lee in the audience. Had a first attempt at throwing a dart on the stage. Thankfully no one was injured. <laughs> and Richard Ashton, there she is. Susan Lee, the Honourable Susan Lee, member for Farah. This is her constituency. 22. And she thought she'd pop in and say a few words and have a look at this wonderful event that brings in such a economic benefit to the region. 43. And chips in this tournament combined with the Pacific Masters brings in millions of dollars to the economy. Yeah, it's been a couple of weeks of darts incorporating the Australian Championships, the Pacific Masters and of course the flagship event, the Australian Darts Open. You'd be glad of a rest after this, I'm sure, Kelvin. Yes, well, unfortunately, I'm off to Tasmania. I'll, I'll leave on uh, leave on Monday morning, and then I'm back, uh, heading off to Tasmania on Tuesday. Oh, no rest for the wicked. That's right, yeah, no, <laughs> unfortunately. I must have been a very wicked man. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, in about three weeks' time, heading overseas for a long-deserved break. Spending some time with my dear wife, Deborah who puts up with me for the rest of the year, <laughs> committing my life to work and darts. 16. And of course, visiting the lovely country of Denmark for the World Cup and amongst all that as well. Yes, looking for, I've, I've only ever been to, to Copenhagen and I must say I didn't see much of the, much of the land, so. I'm certainly looking forward to exploring the delights of Denmark. One hundred and forty. Hope you second leg has been a lot more subdued than the first. The fireworks have faded ever so slightly, but the fireworks may start again if Puha can take this one four five. No, not to be. Seventy nine. Johnny Unicorn one hundred. Desi Mercer. See her in action a little bit later on, taking on Lisa Ashton in the first of our women's semi finals. Tata unlucky with the top stops. 16. Over you requires 66. Starting them young at the darts. <laughs> Could be a future world champion right there. Two eights for the second leg. 58. Johnny Unicorn 14. So Johnny Tata has got the opportunity to go into a two-nil lead. In his best of 11 legs. Yeah, he does. Clinical Tata. efficiency. Is Johnny the Took his chance. Came you can't be giving Johnny Tata chances like that, but especially the way he's playing. 100. Came through the groups. 100. Defeated Harley Kemp with an average of 92.5, then defeated Michael Kassar, an average just over 97. He's been playing some fantastic darts. Yes, we really enjoy our Kiwi 
friends or presence at this tournament. They've been they've featured in every single tournament so far. And one of them forty are often the, not just the crowd favourites, but favourites amongst the players because they really do know how to enjoy life. Absolutely. A fierce competitor hopes. For such a laid back character. Just very deceiving. But he's up against it here with an inform Johnny Taylor. Absolutely. Sixteen. I'm sure these two guys have played each other many, many times, but as far as recorded competition goes, they've played twice in finals over the past year or so. Nineteen. Back last October, they played each other in the North Island Masters final. Johnny Tata was the winner five legs to two in that one. And then they played in the Canterbury Open final back in June of this year. And Hopai Puha came out on top in that one. 45. So two evenly matched players, both playing very good darts at the minute. So even though it's 2-0, Johnny Tata seems to be in control of this one. It could still go either way. Is Hope I put her more than capable of Johnny producing a major comeback. 156 though for Tata. Shots on another one of those. Yes, oh. double 18 for a 156. Oh. Yes! We're off to a screamer. Good afternoon. Oh. Brilliant 156 yeah. there from Johnny. Extends his lead. Three legs to nil. Halfway to six. Averaging a shade under 96. This is incredible stuff. 98. We've seen Puha's averages improve as the tournament's gone on. Average 77 and a half against Darren Carson and then brought it up to just under 90 against David 100. Platt. But me thinks if he's going to win this one, he has to up it a few more points again. Here's Johnny Tata at the minute. Relentless. Eighty-three. Our referee, Marco Meyer. One of them from 40. a cold the last couple of days, but has sold it on. Yep, exemplary performance as always from the big Dutchman. One hundred. One of them twenty three. A mega deflection. He is on a finish though, one three eight. We do love a one three eight. One of them, 40. Johnny, you require a number 38. 138 then, four. <laughs> <laughs> Another one of those. Oh. Could have been the best one we've ever seen. <laughs> one of them, six. Oh, but you require Instead, it's a fantastic 80. weave. Just in case Puha cannot take this 80 out. So, 80 to pull the leg back and reduce the deficit. Double 10. Step over to the left, opens the bed up a little bit. Yeah. That's oh, why. No. Hopes pulls the leg back. Match score, three legs to one. <laughs> Having a giggle together. In favour of Johnny Tata over Hopai Puha. Yep, nice to see a bit of camaraderie on the stage between the players. Taking it extremely seriously, but always time for a, a chat with your mate. Yes, two fine ambassadors for New Zealand darts. These two gentlemen. 84. Good recovery from the seven. 
can't afford wayward darts like that in a match like this. Can we jump again? straight on the triple? One of them, 40. And there he is, the man himself. The first one of the day, Waterboy Liam. No longer the hydration officer. He must have been demoted. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, here we go. One of them, 40. That's better. Ah, there you go. <laughs> 43. Order has been restored. Indeed. It's been demoted, relegated, and promoted more than Norwich City. One of them, 37. <laughs> I thought you were going to say more than Cardiff City for a while. <laughs> for a moment there. My beloved Bluebirds. 16. Hope you require 140. Carl, one of our uh, competitors. Formerly of Bolton. Oh, just a wire's width away. From what could have been a spectacular finish. Turning you require one hundred and fifty-eight. One five eight then. This is a big ask to hold throw. Two treble twenties for double nineteen. No. Ninety-eight. Hope you require forty. Well, lingering on sixty just in case. Tops for hopes. Yeah, that's getting short in the fifth first start. Hope I could. Six hope to throw first. Game on. He's woken up. Indeed. Brings his average to around about 90. Tata, around about the 98 mark. 3 2 then to Johnny. Let's hope I leads away. 99. In this sixth leg. We saw both these guys take some pretty impressive scalps on the, the World Series 40. a couple of weeks ago in New Zealand. Johnny Tata took the scalp of Peter Wright, of course, before losing to Rob Cross. And Hopai Puha defeating Dimitri Vandenberg before losing to Nathan Aspinall. So the recent big stage experience in front of big crowds will serve them well. Coming into this tournament. Absolutely. 16. 100. I have to say, as we are here on finals day, one of the highlights, for me anyway, last year, and you viewers don't get to see this, which is your loss because it's quite good and it's something a little bit different at the end 16. of the men's final we do the presentations and then we have a parade of the players onto stage all to collect their mementos and it's wonderful just having all the players and the officials on stage just for a, a photograph and a yes a little bit a of bonding if you like yes we try and make the next bit of special effort to encourage our players to not only come back but to Welcome other other players to travel across the world mm. for a very special event. And uh, from day one of its inception, we try attempted to do that. And we, uh, our intention is long term to make this the must-do tournament. Now then, tops for a one five four. Oh, oh just under the wire. Betty Hislop sitting next to Susan Lee. Betty Hislop, OAM. And if there was ever someone that deserved that hashtag the legend other than John Harvey is Betty Hislop. <laughs> Certainly is the work she's done for junior development in Western Australia. Such players as the Anderson brothers, Bo and Kyle. Damon Hedder. 14. Hope are you require 20. <laughs> Double ten then for Puha to tie it up at three. Yeah, yes. oh, match is level. Oh, and so talking of legends. legends. <laughs> 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 Our very own John Harvey. 
formerly of the Murray River Council, now of Darts Australia, also formerly of Scotland. <laughs> There's he. Oh, there you go. Marvellous start to this leg. Johnny Tata lady. trying to halt the momentum that Puha is generating. One hundred. For, never forget my first meeting with John Harvey last year. Came to pick us up from Bendigo Airport, an airport that's about the size of my back garden. <laughs> and we shook One hands. And and nice to meet you, John. And he went, "Oh, a Scotsman," in a very, very Scottish accent. Then he started talking to your wife Deb, and he was back to his back to, yeah, oh, Australian. Lucky. I was like, "Oh, they're bilingual." Uh, our friend John. Well, to be fair, you are yourself because there is the Celtic connection there. Because exactly. Yeah. I can I can hear you talking to John or Deb or and it's very Australian. Then you start talking to the Scotsman and it's yeah, look, it's the, uh, the Welsh comes back through. Absolutely. It, and if I talk to my, for example, if I talk to my sister on the telephone, yeah, my Welsh accent is back pretty much uh, straight away, and I try and get back there at least once a year to make sure I keep up. The Welsh accent. <laughs> I love my country. I love my home country. I love Australia. So I count myself as a Welsh Australian. Single 14 for tops for Tata. For a 4-3 lead. Oh. Takes it out. Two more legs required for Johnny. Yep, thanks to that resurgence from Puha. Still going with the throw now. First three legs went the way of Tata, the next three the way of Puha. 99. It's funny you say that about accents because when I go home to Wales, the first comment I get from some of my friends is, where did you get that Australian accent from? <laughs> France. Where do you think? <laughs> I say, what accent? <laughs> yeah. What accent, man boy? <laughs> what accent, lovely boy? <laughs> Oh, this will be lovely. Another turn 80. One yes. And and the bellowing 180 of Marco Meyer fills the room. Oh, by Off to quite a lead in this eighth leg. Looking to level the leg score. I have to say, at this point, this has got 6 5 written all over it. Another. Mr. Puha. Oh, well, 82 after 9. Not much wrong with that. Absolutely not. Wouldn't look out of place in any darts match on any stage anywhere in the world. Bull for double 16, treble 14 for tops. Should be the bull. He did go for the bull. That looks like a 15, so 67, treble 17 for double 8. And there'll be 18 for double 16 upon his return. Oh, well. <laughs> 68. Yep. Yes, even confused uh, our experienced referee, Marco, there for a while. <laughs> Just for the moment. About 14 required when he returns. Yeah, speaking of, from a referee's point of view, when something like that happens, you just need to reset and count it again. <laughs> Hope you require 14. We need hydration bourbons. <laughs> Six it is for double four. Or four four. Double two. Twelve. Ooh. Well, Johnny can put in a big score here. A one eight, he will do very nicely. Put the pressure straight back on Hope. So. One hundred. Now, Over you two. Stuart Coburn toil on double one yesterday. Can Puha have better luck? Yeah, yes, he can. Ah. If you're watching the steel. Don't be discouraged. No. Keep improving the way you are, and one day it'll all fall into place. You played tremendously well last night. Just failing at the final hurdle. Yep, certainly has the makings of a magnificent dart player. He already is a magnificent dart player. And in my humble opinion, will only get better. Absolutely. A bit more experience on the big stage like this? Oh, yes, most certainly. 
Talking of stages, this is second to none in the country. This wonderful Bowling. stage for the Australian Darts Open at the Moama Bowling Club. Here in the wonderful town of Moama. Moama on the mighty river. The Murray. The Murray River at a high level at the moment. 100. It's been that way for quite some time since the whole area and was absolutely decimated by heavy floods. 123. And some poor unfortunate people are still displaced from their homes, having their homes condemned because of flood damage. As far as way down the 41. river is Rochester, which is Probably 40 minutes away, well, 30 minutes away from here. Ooh, we wish those people all the best. 40. The floods went right through to South Australia. And doing its nature's damage along the way. But we're here to see Johnny Tata and Hope I Puha do some damage on the dartboard. Absolutely. Another one of those will leave him double eight on his return. On and he somehow 40. managed to sneak that in. So it'll be two eights upon his return. I wonder, could Hope I Puha leave himself tops? No, no, he can't. He'll be on a finish though, and. In striking distance, should Johnny Tata fail to take this out, but the way he's playing, I don't see it happening. The way he's playing, I don't see it happening. Uh, Thank you. Short <laughs> Johnny Tata. Ten oh, one leg away from Three victory more. for Johnny Tata. In our opening match of our finals day at the Australian Darts Open. Yep, the average 85. is still pretty competitive. Puha, 90 plus change. Johnny Tata, just over 94 and a half. And Johnny Tata has kept that level pretty much through the entire match. And what a start oh, this oh, is. Here no, he goes again. No, filling up the triple 20. Wonderful. I wonder if we'll see a nine data today, Anthony. Oh. A lot of shouting and bawling and screaming and yes. cheering if, if we do. And that's just from me. <laughs> yep. Won't be in this occasion though. One of them forty. <laughs> Marvelous one forty. One hundred. One eighty one. Yep. Tart are well in control. Just six darts. Sixteen. <laughs> <laughs> one camera shy and one keen to get on it. Mm. I swear having the camera on you makes you do some questionable things. <laughs> Eighteen. Joining you require one hundred and twenty one. <laughs> How very nonchalant. Very nice haircut. Mm. Now then, this is for the match. Doesn't have to go 11 bull. Puha back in 210. May go treble 7 here. Oh, he went for the 15s. Equally as good. 89. We will be back for two 16s. Mick Mullaney, former Australian rep from the ACT. Here comes Puha though. Oh, treble 18 maybe? Or is he going to go for the 180? One on the he does go for 14. the 180. Just the wrong side of the wire, but something for Tata 13. to think about. Double 16, and we will be saying Tata to Puha. And Johnny will march on to the semis. Game short. And yes. We do. Johnny Tata. Johnny Tata wrapping up the match 6-4 against his countryman. 
tackle by Poha. Fantastic 14 dart leg to take the match <coughs> against the throw as well. Superb stuff from Johnny Tata. He's through to the semi finals. Last year's finalist, Hopai Puha, is out. Six legs to four, the score. We'll see Johnny Tata later on in the semis. But our next match, the second of our men's quarter finals, as the world champion Neil Duff takes on Australia's Danny Porter. <laughs> 